Henry, don't draw on the window. It's not fair! Peter's drawing! Yes, but Peter's not drawing on the window, Henry. Hello? Oh, hello, Polly. Not Prissy Polly! Polly and I were thinking about going to the cinema. The cinema? Oh, well, that's nice for you. And we were wondering if Peter would like to come with us. Peter? Well, I'm sure he'd like to go with you. You're going to see something soppy. Um, Henry's free too. Maybe he could go with you. Oh, <laughs> Henry! Red face. No way. Say no. Well, uh, yes, that would be lovely. No. Shall we meet them at the cinema? Oh, good. Looks like you're coming with us, Henry. Oh, great. OK, see you soon. You're going to the movies, boys. Woo! I'm so excited. What are we going to see? But everyone calls me... Hurry it, Henry. Welcome to my world. That's perfect Peter, a.k.a. my wormy, worm little brother. Henry's not doing his homework. Henry! But I can deal with him. <laughs> well, I don't want to do my homework. I'm way too busy being a rock star. Introducing public enemy number one. Huh? Moody Margaret. <laughs> I hate you, Henry! Henry? And the worst teacher in the whole wide world, Miss Battleaxe. All she ever wants is my homework. No! I haven't got my homework, Miss. Detention. No! And this is this lovely. Oh, yeah, and that's the grossest goo ever. <laughs> oh, nice one, Henry. Yeah, nice one, Henry. Yeah. Oh, why is it always me? I hear Ashton Primary's closing down. Dark forces are at work, Henry. But all those children will be paying me lots of money to come here to brick our school. I'm not going to that mouldy old brick house. Save the day. What's she doing here? I'm here to help you come up with a plan to save the school, that's what. Eureka! The Horrid Way. What does that horrid boy think he's doing? Go, Henry! Nothing can stop me. In your own time, girls? Don't think about laughing. <laughs> Angelica Houston. It's time you're taught to listen. Richard E. Grant. <laughs> Dick and Dom. And introducing Theo Stevenson as Horrid Henry. <laughs> horrid Henry, the movie in 3D. My name's Theo Stevenson and I played Horrid Henry in Horrid Henry the Movie. I'm Ross Marin and I played Perfect Peter in Horrid Henry the Movie. You did it, Henry! You want to go to school! Don't get too excited, worm. When I first walked out onto the set of Horrid Henry, I joined the last scene. Well, I think the first time was when they when they had the, the house set up, wasn't it? Yes, they, it was. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Action! Everyone's having a party! First time we went on set was actually at Twickenham Studios, um, where they built the house. Uh, here we are on set in uh, Hart Henry's house. Everyone was being choreographed into a great big finale dance. So I didn't know anyone, I hadn't shaken hands with anyone, and suddenly I was next to Prunella Scales being required to do some steps. And it was huge, and there were things falling down off the ceiling, it was like a party atmosphere. I mean, that dance sequence. I mean, the flashbacks. I mean, to talk, talk, talk about half-hearted attempt here, because it was just dropped on me on the day. I mean, this one was going for it. Um, I did think try. He, you think he was in Footloose. <laughs> but I, uh, I tried to shuffle behind 
<laughs> Someone. Um, one thing people might not know about is the dance. Yeah. The dance. The dance. Not just any dance. The dance. <laughs> Expand a little bit. Um, well, I'm intrigued. You're intrigued. We had the choreography and everything going down, and we were we were dressed as pirates, weren't we? We were. We were dressed as pirates. Um, I patched. Yeah. I mucked mine up, and everyone's doing their, their dancing, and then I just do like this weird dance before I got that, and they kept it in the film. And so that's pretty cool. Whenever that, whenever that scene's on, I go, wait for it, wait for it, and I muck it up, and I go. But one thing that happened on Horrid Henry was the big dance scene at the end was actually meant to be a garden party, but it snowed really, really heavily. And it's meant to be set in summer, so we couldn't film outside. For me, it was just amazing to think, you know, that when, when you step onto the, onto the house uh, set, it was like you were actually in the house. You know, they had um, lights coming through the, the blinds, and you actually were like, wow, there's, you know, you can imagine that is the sun coming up. and. Um, but no, it was amazing, and also to see like all the um, all the amazing people who were involved. So you had the sound desk over in one corner, you had the lights, you had, you know, everything. It is, it's uh, about four o'clock, five o'clock. Um, ten to five. Ten to five, still got another two hours left here. Look, do you expect silver platters on the movie? No. Do you expect malt grain loaf? No. Mighty white. Let's try this. Mmm. Ginger cake. No, I'm going to do it on my diet. No, he's on the diet. For him. You're clearly not. Let's throw you this back. Come on, Have you say it for me. Now look. Uh, these are actual movie cameras. Now they're 3D cameras, and the way they do this is they've got one right here, that's the movie one that you usually film through, and then you've got one at the top here. And this is the set for two cool for school. Yeah. The magical movies, come on, we'll show you a little secret here. This is where you see us on the stage doing the opening to two cool school, and in front of us are the audience, but look! There's nobody there! Just a man looking bored in his shorts. The magic of editing, they can make the crowd appear. Uh, then there's the green room, you have seen the green room? Where actors and actresses come to chill out. There you go. They're all off. It's luxurious, isn't it? It's where everyone comes to sit down and chill out and send emails and have tea and coffee. Not very interesting. It's just like fun. It's just a room, but they come back in. No, so far, these aren't lit up. If that was lit up, it means watch it. If the red one, it's showtime. Now these are, these are about to be thrown in our heads. All this stuff. And my favourite, the comedy chair. Things of all sorts. Which is where they watch what we're doing and they make notes. So, uh, I just like it. Two, kill. <laughs> If you're too cool for school, you're... Uh, so while I was filming Horrid Henry, I stayed in a flat in Teddington uh, with my chaperone and my double. Uh, this is Jack, and um, would you like to say what a body double is? Um, yeah, a body double is where, if he needs a break, they use my hands, feet, and everything in between. Yeah, do we look alike? <laughs> it was eight weeks, and it was the first time I'd, you know, stayed away from my family for that long. And yeah, that in itself was a great experience. Your chaperone, like, she, she had zero control. I mean, you definitely <laughs> wore trousers, um, slightly cropped. Like, I couldn't go anywhere without a chaperone, so it was a very different world. I remember while I was living in the flat, and I'd always hide away from the, uh, from the chaperones just because I was mischievous and wanted to get into the world of horror Henry as much as possible. I like to call it method acting. Just everyone was so committed and so, like, they were moving so fast, and it was just all very, sort of, very long days. Having to wake up really early most mornings and just being quite tired. But uh, other than that, it's all definitely worth it. Had 
shower and I'm all ready for the day. Ready. Fire bake up. Hey Kevin, how are you doing? It's going to be really weird because it's most people's last day today and I've got one more week and uh, yeah, I'm going to have to say goodbye. It's going to be so cool. Um, no, not so cool. So weird. Yeah, it's going to be different. Okay, so now I'm going to show you inside the costume department where the costumes are kept. I think getting into the character is quite handy when you're sitting in front of the makeup because as all this makeup was being applied and my hair was sort of becoming higher and higher, I sort of thought, okay, I get the idea. And once the costume get excited and the makeup person gets excited and they're putting their imprint on how you are, you just become it quite seamlessly, actually. The costume was really fun. Yeah. Uh, but a, a lot of my costume, like my shoes were a little bit too small. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, the, costume, the costume directors were great. This is my blue and yellow stripy jumper. That's what he Horror Henry wears every day of his life. That's when I'm king and I'm wearing this red robe. And this is my comeback gear right at the beginning of the movie. Aww. They were almost always my favourite part of my costume. And the green laces and everything. They're very cute. Our oh. costumes, yeah. they're very dapper actually. We really like them to be honest. Yeah. They, uh, look at the line. Yeah, the line. Look at the We've line. got brogues, look, which are old fashioned shoes. And we've got. And look at those socks. Jazzy socks. Yeah. We've got crum catchers, which yeah. are cummerbunds here. And bow ties. Yeah. And tissues. But again, they're slightly, uh, slightly creepy, insincere costumes, kind of an attempt to try and look smart, but not quite getting it right. This was the doll that I had to drop down the staircase when I was in the all girls school. Oh, I'd forgotten about her until. Oh, that's really sweet. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing um, how much detail goes into yeah. everything, especially yeah. the costumes. Is this your idea of a joke? Shh. Don't even think about laughing. Just finished in makeup, I also had a haircut, so I'm just gonna go get my school bag and then I'll be over on set to do lots and lots of filming. having a little break with my fellow cast members. I mean, working out on stage here is really, really crazy. I've got to go to school. I've got to go to school. I had tutoring. I haven't got my homework, miss. The ditch. It was three hours a day, maximum five hours. And you're only allowed to be filming, I think, for four and a half hours but it was quite strict and I did get a lot of work from school, but it was, it was good. We're going to tour in April. You worked really hard, don't you, all of you? Yeah. You worked so hard. And they were in chaos with tutoring. Fiddle and he brought in snake skins and stuff for us to see. So it was very, that like it was just the best fun. It wasn't really school, but it was very fun. <laughs> we hated tutoring, but we made it very fun. <laughs> I mean, at times there were loads of us all in this kind of big room when we were filming the scenes in the school. And yeah, we made that fun. Probably not so fun for the tutor. This is something you might not know. If we don't do schoolwork, our school can ban us from going out filming. We would go up to them and we'd do the work, and then when they'd call us, we'd be like, yes. Would you like to come into my trailer? This is my trailer, so I can come in to get this like a dressing room on wheels. This is where they put my clothes on the room with the in there. Uh, we're going to go get some lunch and we're going to eat in the bus with all the kids, so uh, if you want to join us, that'll be great. and I'll definitely see you later. Peace out.
because the film was in 3D. Horrid Henry, the movie in 3D. Um, there are a few things uh, which I had to do, to, which definitely stood out. And uh, I remember a few sequences, you know, in the rock concert and you know, jumping off tables and things like that. It looked really good. Just you wait and see, cause the boy on the stage will be me. You know, especially with the yo-yos and making sure that it would come out to the camera as much as possible. I did actually have to do a lot of yo-yoing practice, but I got pretty good at it. <laughs> But you also, I mean, you, had to, yeah. you had to deal with I guess. CGI. Yeah. So you had to act with something that wasn't there. And then flying, that was quite hard as well. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, because people always just think, Obviously, they've just raised him up, but no, it was all. I had to lean on a, this, the camera thing, wasn't it? That would be oh so lovely. I'm having a tryout day today. Well, how lovely is that? Shall we, Peter? Bye then. Uh, so the day I did the time slice was great. Um, we had all of these really expensive cameras, like, there must have been about 20 of them plus, and all around the room in a big circle. And I was in the middle, jumped up the table, and they actually all took a photo at the same time. And then when you pay, play it back really quickly, it looks like the camera's going around me. I just, I've never, so cool I've never seen anything like that. I haven't seen this either. That just, like, I was watching it and I was like, how how did I do that? That's awesome. That was amazing. Just what do you think you're doing? <gasps> practicing for the talent contest, Mr. Oddbod. I see. And you practicing trying to get this school closed down too? And get down from there right now, you horrid boy! Watching Angelica Houston get guns. All the gooing. People are constantly being guns. <gasps> I'm gonna regret saying this, but I actually enjoyed the scene where I got wet. Check this out. Please, that'll never hit me. Where Margaret and Henry were throwing their water balloons. There's a scene where Horrid Henry has to throw a water bomb at me. Carefully worked out with military precision and resulting in a devastating airburst attack. And for the first take, they said, oh no, it's just going to be a practice. And then they actually threw the water bomb at my head and it was the most shocking thing ever. And it was just very scary. <laughs> my face hurt. Ah! She was soaking. Henry! I'll get you, Henry! I was just like, oh, that's fantastic. Well, we're just doing a close-up on um, the vomit. It's disgusting, it went on me. I had to eat that horrible sandwich, didn't I? Yeah, that was the best thing. Vomiting Vera, uh, Prissy Polly's little baby, she's really, really cute. I am starving. Anything left for me? Well, it, it was yogurt, it wasn't, it, uh, it wasn't puke, obviously. We wouldn't, we wouldn't be that mean to, to Matt, but it was this That's terrible right. tasting baby yogurt. Yeah, oh yeah, it was baby food. That was it, it was baby food. It was baby food, food. Was yeah, but baby you know, food. I had to really go for it like I was ravenously hungry. Yeah. Oh, sorry. 
Oh, it's okay. Oh, again. Oh, sorry. It doesn't matter. Don't be silly. Oh, I am starving. Anything left for me? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. When we were outside, when like around the time when we were about to go home, uh, it was getting kind of dark. But the girls were walking outside, and because it was kind of dark, you couldn't really see many people. We hid behind the tree, and then we, we jumped out and scared them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with spiders. I'm a professional. You know. You look at anyone like that. Bruce Willis, you know, all them guys, they've all worked with spiders before. What's actually going to happen is he's going to scream like a little girl and run off back to his mummy. <laughs> well, of course, right. the best boys gang didn't pull any pranks, of course. Yeah. Yes, Peter? Yesterday I put a red crayon in the yellow crayon box, Miss Lovely. Oh. And I took it out again, Miss Lovely. OK. And I wiped it clean with a cloth, Miss Lovely. And I put it away in the red crane box, Miss Lovely. Well, how lovely is that? You really are my best boys. Oh, Peter and his friends make me sick. Physics has given me some great ideas for gooing Moody Margaret. <laughs> Come on, Henry, you're missing your own party. Uh, yeah, I'm just finishing my homework. homework. Homework? Yeah. Horrid homework. trouble today as we attend the world premiere of Horrid Henry, the movie 3D. When I saw myself on the, on the big screen for the first time in my life, I, I was scared, <laughs> almost. Um, I didn't know, I didn't really know what to expect, um, but it's it's exciting, but you don't really know if you, you, I could have done that better or, or I, um, I could have said that differently. So it's, it's weird. <laughs> so we can give it to Miss Oddbod. That was the first time I saw it on big, proper big screen. So it was a little weird. It was quite, quite thrilling. I, I got like a, a sense of, um, a little bit of pride. My, my <laughs> ego got a little boost. <laughs> I will admit that. I haven't got any music. Allow me, Lord High Majesty of the Purple Hand Gang. <laughs> yeah! It was really great, really great feeling. I've always loved making people laugh. I think just the sound of it and knowing that you've done that is just such a great feeling. So when I came on and started biting Soggy Sid and people were laughing, if I wasn't sure I wanted to be an actress then, that definitely made me know that's what I wanted to do. Oh, hey. oh yeah, that's Vicious Vicky, Sour Susan's sister. <laughs> Sorry, Vicky does that sometimes. Yeah, hey, Vicious Vicky! Seeing myself on the big screen for the first time was both amazing and quite embarrassing and I was sort of sat in the audience thinking, do I really sound like that? Do I really look like that? But seeing my name in the credits at the end was very special. Sit on down, order in the classroom, Margaret. Here, yeah, miss. Got any more Farish accent there, dingbat dodo? Hey, you're doing that's right. Only what you're looking at. Look at that moody Margaret. Who is stressy? Hey, Henry, try walking the magnetic buggy. 
What are we going to do with that money anyway? <laughs> we, my beetle-brained friend, are going to have the party of a lifetime. Sounds cool. Deal. Turtle toad. Biscuit bun. Slime bucket. A cockroach fart. Henry. Size one. Well. A turtle lick and lick and Word that sums up making my first film is excitement. Horrible. No, it was. Uh, <laughs> um, one word to sum up the experience. Childish. I think it'd have to be uh, exhilarating. It was absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. There's no. There's no actually word that could describe how good it was. And it was just amazing experience. I'd love to do it again. It's going to be really weird because it's most people's last day today. It was such a non-judgmental cast and I know that I had the most amazing time and I met some of my like really inspirational idols that I just had idolised from the start. So I kept a little scrapbook, excuse my 11 year old handwriting, and each of them signed their names. Jack and Theo I still talk to. I'm still really close to Scarlett who played Moody Margaret. Jack who played uh, Arobacow I became quite good friends with. And uh, so yeah, he, he was always there for me, which was fun. We've all kept in contact. We've all changed so much, but we can still see each other. Working with theatre was an adventure. I like that. That never ends. Because we're still here. Because I'm doing what we've always right done. Now, talking about Horrid Henry. So, I've only got one more thing to say to you lot. Enjoy and be horrid. Really, really horrid. Yeah.